What is up guys, it is your boy Winster and I'm back at it again with another video. Today we got a deck profile on Snake Eyes, Fire King, post-April 2024 ban list. Before we get into today's video, I do want to say a huge thank you to everyone that watches my videos. We hit a huge milestone in hitting 2,000 subs. I want to say a huge thank you. Thank you for supporting me. Uh, be sure to check out the description box, guys. I have a Discord, TikTok, Twitch, and Twitter in there. Make sure you guys check it out. I would really appreciate it if you guys go give me a follow there. But let's jump right into the deck profile. A couple things I want to go over with you guys. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started with the main deck first. There are a few changes here. Not as many as compared to the side or the extra deck. Once we get to the points of the changes, I'll let you guys know. But this is Snake Eye Fire King, 41 cards. Uh, we are playing, of course, three Snake Eye Ash. The best starter in the whole deck. Searches out Poplar. Searches out what level one you need, really. And then, of course, brings out Flame Burge. Um, so pretty necessary. We played two Poplar. Uh, Poplar has always been a two of in the Snake Eye Fire King. In the pure version, you played three. But I do think that that build is a lot weaker now because he ended up losing Savage and Barone and also losing Link Karibo, which is actually crazy. We play one Oak. Uh, we just have like an extra, right? This is another Snake Eye Ash, essentially. Uh, and it has some Reborn from the Grave. Uh, really, you don't have to play this, but it's just nice to have an extra name. We play one Flame Burge. We never played more than one. Uh, you never need it in the Snake Eyes, uh, but in Pure, you played two. And then we played two Diabellstar. I think the argument could be made to play three, even in Snake Eye Fire King, uh, but realistically, it's never come up for me because you play the other searches of the deck like Wanted and Bonfire. You have a lot of consistency as it is, and you don't want to brick up on three. And then we play three Wanteds. This is just another Dia Bellstar. Again, that's why we only play two, not three, because we don't want to brick up. But this is a 1.5 card starter if this is all you have in your hand and the rest are hand traps. Uh, I, like I said, this deck is known for consistency. We play three Bonfire. Uh, you never not played any less. And then you play one original Sinful Spoils. This card is absolutely broken. Gets you to the pieces that you need without having to commit too much, right? You just send a face-up card. But uh, in the pure version, if that even has any kind of build after that ban list, you, they're more than likely going to play more of this. And then this is a new addition. I play Subvision of the Snake Eye. This card is absolutely insane. Great removal. Uh, could be searched out through Poplar and through Dia Bellstar, which is crazy. Uh, originally, I was playing the Field Spell, but I was just having too many issues with the Field Spell for the Snake Eyes and then the Field Spell for the Fire King. So I just decided to remove this and add this. I'm even considering adding another copy of this uh, because it's just really great removal. Onto the Fire King stuff, we play the one Garunix, of course. We play the one Poplar. And then we play the one Arvada. These cards are absolutely insane. You need these cards. Uh, like I said, because Pure just got significantly weaker with the most recent ban list, uh, I think it's just necessary to play the Fire King stuff now. And then, of course, we play the two Kirin. Phenomenal card. If this ever gets hit to less than one, it'll just suck. But you're always only going to ever play two. I wouldn't recommend more than two. The spells, we play the one Sanctuary, the one Island. And then the rest is going to be non-engine, guys. So I play three Crossout Designator. You want to make sure you play through hand traps because there's going to be times where you only have one starter and your opponent just has several hand traps and it's just so hard to play through. And I play two Triple Tactics Talons. I think these are really, really necessary in Snake Eye or Pure Snake Eye, Fire King Snake Eye because you're going to get hand trap at every angle. And it's just nice. I'm even considering maybe bumping it to the three, but I don't want to brick on it. Like I said, the rest is just non-engine. We play three Imperm. We play three Ghost Mourner and Moonlight Chill. Uh, three Nibiru. And then three Ash. On to the extra deck. Uh, we unfortunately lost Link Rebo, but we still have the Anima. I think Nibiru in this up-and-coming format is still going to be super powerful because I do think that Snake Eyes Fire King and maybe if Pure come, still is around, um, Nibiru is going to be really useful. So you just summon the Nibiru on their turn, your turn, you link summon to Anima, absorb the token. I play the Nightmare Phoenix to get around problematic back row. Uh, I play the one Dark. I play the one Hita. And then I play the one IP. I uh, play the one SP. And then for combo, we play the Sunlight Wolf still because we still want to add cards like Karen back to her hand uh, or maybe add Ponix back to her hand. Or in some rare instances, you could add the Ash that you popped off of the field spell back to your hand. So 
uh, you definitely, definitely recommend still playing that. And then for the Link 3s, we play the One Heat Soul. Um, again, we had to make room because we lost Anima. Uh, and I feel like Little Chimera just doesn't do enough. In my personal opinion, I really never go into it. But having the extra draw to get a Hand Trap or maybe get an Extender of some sort... Uh, is really, really vital. So I think adding the Heat Soul is going to be really great. And uh, we play the Promethean Princess. The argument could be made that you could replace the Heat Soul for a second Princess, but uh, one Princess is enough, really. And then, of course, Amblo Whale for a Link 4, Raging Phoenix for the OTK stuff, World's Sea Dragon to enable Promethean Princess to activate, and then we play one Appaloosa. Uh, I don't see this often, but we play the one Underworld Goddess because there's times that, you know, monsters that are unaffected by card effects or activated effects or anything along those lines are just a little too troublesome to play around so it's just this deck could spam really easy uh so just linking away with this is really really nice a new addition is going to be the typhon uh typhon is really good uh right let's say worst case scenario your opponent stops you and you only ended up with like one monster on the field uh you could just overlay with this spin a card back and pray for the best this also does stop the mirror uh because flame Burge won't be able to activate uh anywhere right if this is on the field so um, really, really good addition. Onto the side deck. There have been some changes. I was playing Droll in the main, then I switched it to the side, then I just completely took it out. I just don't think it does enough, so I switched it with DD Crow. Uh, DD Crow targeting any card in the graveyard, really great against a lot of matchups right now, in my honest opinion. Um, so just really, really vital. Uh, we play the two Bistios. We play Magnemo and then we play Durasworm. Really great removal with Durasworm and Magnemo. If you only ended up opening that card, you could search out the Durasworm if you're playing both. New additions, we played the Evenly Matched. Um, now that Barone and Savage are gone, there's going to be a lot less room to be able to negate. So adding Evenly Matched is going to be really good because it's going to be harder for decks to negate it. Um, but... It does come at the cost of battle phase, but all their stuff is going to be banished face down. So it's just so good. It's harder for them to retrieve it back. I took it out and then putting it back in uh, because I at least want one sort of floodgate. I added the deck lockdown. Cards can be added or special summon from the deck, which is just absolutely crazy. Um, and then you could get rid of this card with like Ash, <laughs> which is even crazier. This card is absolutely broken. Um, I'm surprised it's still legal, but we're going to be trying this out. I think it's going to be really good in my opinion. And then we just have back row hate for the rest of the deck. Lightning Storm and then two Cosmic Cyclone. Okay, guys. So that is going to be it for today's deck profile. Let me know what you guys think of my build. What do you guys think about my tech options with like deck lockdown, evenly matched. The new additions to the extra deck since we lost Link Karibo. Also, what do you guys think of that ban list, man? Did, is Pure going to still be a viable option to be played in the up-and-coming format? Let me know everything in the comment section. I would really, really appreciate it. Again, thank you so much for the 2,000 subscribers. Always going to appreciate the support. Can't wait until we reach the next goal of 3K. Keep your eyes open. There is going to be some sort of celebration, maybe a giveaway, something along those lines. Still playing with the idea, but keep your eyes open. Make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bells. I'll check you guys out later. Peace out.